while ago in a video I did on my other channel. I went through a proof that seemed right, but ended up with the result that 1 plus 1 equals 1, which you may have noticed isn't actually true. It turns out that in one of the steps I divided by 0, so why isn't that allowed? Why does dividing by 0 break maths? Well, think about what happens when you're doing division. You're taking a number and splitting it into however many equal parts. So 12 divided by 3 means you take 12 and split it into 3 equal parts. 1 divided by 8 means splitting 1 into 8 equal parts. And 5 divided by 0 means taking 5 and splitting it into, uh, 0 equal parts? What does that even mean, anyway? Well, drawing pictures isn't getting us anywhere, so let's do some algebra instead. Which is good life advice, really. Unless you're an artist or something. Well, I suppose you might be able to make it work? Someone should try and make an algebraic drawing and tell me how it goes. Anyway, if you're trying to find, say, 24 over 6, that's the same as asking what, when multiplied by 6, gives 24. And if you're trying to find 1 divided by 0, that's asking what, when multiplied by 0, gives 1. The only problem is, if you multiply a number by 0, you always get 0. However you try to think about it, dividing by 0 doesn't make sense. We therefore say that something divided by 0 is undefined. Sometimes people say that dividing by 0 gives you infinity. That's because as you divide by smaller and smaller numbers, you get results that get closer and closer to infinity. But then, if you use negative numbers that get closer and closer to 0, you get closer and closer to minus infinity instead. And dividing by 0 gives you infinity implies that if you keep multiplying 0 by itself forever, you're going to end up with 1 and also 17, and 5,000. And if 1 over 0 is infinity, and 2 over 0 is infinity, then that means 1 equals 2, which I don't think is right, although mental arithmetic has never been my strong point. And also, infinity is not an actual number. Saying that dividing by 0 gives you infinity is useful sometimes, especially in those idealised situations you find in physics questions, but it still doesn't really make sense. OK, you may be wondering, but what about 0 over 0? Good news! That's not actually undefined, it's just indeterminate. Let's go back to the algebra thing. So you've got 0 equals 0x, so what about if x equals 5? Well, the equation works, so 0 divided by 0 is 5. We've found the answer. But wait, x equals a half also works in that equation. So does any other number. In other words, 0 over 0 could be 1, or pi, or a billion, or minus 492, or 10 to the minus 20. There are infinitely many possibilities, and there's no way of determining which number was the x in the original equation, which is why it's called indeterminate. So dividing by 0 isn't going to destroy the universe, it's just not going to give you an answer. So if we say that whatever 0 over 0 is equal to is called please subscribe to this channel, then since 0 over 0 can be any number, literally every number is telling you to please subscribe to this channel. So you probably ought to do that. Goodbye.